All right, guys. So not that long ago, I did the video over this thing right here. The Hot Logic Mini. Oh, crap. I got it upside down. Here we go. Hot Logic Mini. I raved and raved and raved how much I love this. You guys love that video. I got, got a ton of shares. I love this thing. They, to improve the quality of life on your locomotive, this is one of the most simple, inexpensive things you can get out there. If I was to ever tell you I, I could only pick one thing to tell you to get, it would be this. But at the time, I did not have a link to the uh, Hot Logic plug is basically what I call it. It's it's an adapter so you can keep your refrigerator on your locomotive plugged in and still be able to use this. I was going to do a video on how to build one. However, got something better. And I'm going to show you guys what that is here in a minute. So hang tight. We're going to get into the hot logic plug. Here we go. All right. So again, this is, this is great. As you can see right here, it's got where to go. This little regular standard 120 plug right here. Perfect little deal, just kind of tucks away in there. This thing goes in my cooler, especially with me during the winter time, okay? Quality of life, a hot meal on a cold day goes a long ways to keeping your attitude in check and just making a shitty day better. I, I, I can't stress it enough. However, like I said before, you run into an issue because not everything has one of these outlets on the locomotives. What they do have is a specialty type plug that your mini fridge hooks into. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with that until you get what I call a hot logic plug. Some people call it a locomotive plug adapter. But anyways, so you can plug into that outlet, plug your refrigerator back in, keep it going, and then have 120 standard 120 plugs to be able to plug your stuff into. Well, I was going to do a video on how to build all that, but instead came across a guy that I hadn't, hadn't popped up on my search engines before, but he's got, he, ma he makes these things. He absolutely makes these things and it's great. So instead of showing you guys how to make these, I'm going to link it to this guy's Etsy right here. So he's got an option of an 18 inch and a 36 inch. Me personally, I think I would end up going uh, with the 36 inch. The 18 inch would also work just fine. I know a lot of people that have around those same links. But anyways, essentially here it is, guys. It, uh, let's see if I can make that picture a little bigger. So there you go. If you see right there, you got that plug and then that one and then the three standard plugs off it and as you can see you know if you go and buy these here's something you need to look out for okay is this one has the prong that goes up the one everybody gets is the prong that goes down okay you have to have this kind of plug and i'm going to let you know right now i i don't really know how this guy does it uh for the price he does because these things right here and then essentially a an extension cord these three items are not all that cheap i mean they're they're really not so honestly how he's doing it for this price and then uh it says this item ships free in the u.s uh, i have reached out to this guy asked if it's okay if i linked his etsy here and he said sure he is a locomotive engineer it looks like he's been doing this for a while um so the guy knows the guy knows what he knows what he's doing um, he did have one bad comment down here. Okay. And I'll tell you this on one of the ones I had made, it wasn't an issue with, um, the cord and the adapter. It was actually an issue with the plug itself and the locomotive it had a short in it. So that's kind of what I'm wondering if that's what 
this issue is right here. But that's just my guess. I'm kind of guessing that's that might be what that issue is. I could be wrong. But anyways, he's got this one here. And then, like I said, he's got the... Uh, uh, He's got the 18-inch version right here to give you an idea. So, guys, anyways, highly suggest getting this plug. This guy's got it going for a really good price, um, and it's a fellow, fellow railroader. So, if you get you a Hot Logic, you really need to get you one of these. Um, go check out the link and shoot the guy an order. Uh, it's, it's, it's the perfect compliment, and it'll make sure you got hot food on a cold day on those locomotives, guys. So, anyways, hope you guys are having a good one. And that is the compliment to the Hot Logic mini oven. Like I said, hot food on a cold day. I can't say it enough. I know I had weight loss surgery, but I st Fat Boy still likes food. Anyways, y'all have a good one. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas and holiday with your friends and family. And for some reason, you're having to work. Be safe. Keep your head up and know that there's people out there that if you need to reach out to and talk to, we're here. We are absolutely here. And you guys are cared about, each and every one of you, even you grumpy old heads. I love each and every one of you guys. So until next time, here we go. <laughs>